Hi friends, my name is Neeraj Kaushik and I am an overseas education consultant and I have been guiding a number of students who wish to travel abroad for the higher studies. Now this particular session I have made uh, you know, for the students who wish to gu take guidance online and this session is especially for the students who wish to travel for the higher studies to New Zealand. Now, New Zealand is a very good green, lush green country plus they have a wonderful tourism and top of it they have got a fantastic system for education. Every year thousands of students worldwide they travel to New Zealand for the high studies right uh, because there are so many different things about this country and uh, you'll be falling in love with this country. The number of students they apply depending on different 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 courses while applying for New Zealand, uh, you have different variety of institutions available. You have got universities, you have got polytechnics, and you have private institutions. They are all aggregated by NZQA. So now, if you wish to take an admission in any of the institution, you can check the credibility of the institution while on being an, on the website of NZQA. Major places to study in New Zealand are Auckland, Hastings, Wellington, Napier, and Edward Cargill. New Zealand is a multicultural society, so when an international student lands in New Zealand, he really doesn't feel in homesickness kind of stuff, because you have people like you around you, and they are all, trust me, they're very, very, very helpful to you. In New Zealand, you have variable uh, intakes, uh, mentioned like Jan, April, September, and November, and uh, you have to pay the tuition fee only after you get a visa, means you get an AIP first, approved in principle, and then you have to pay your tuition fee. All international students in New Zealand, they are allowed to work 20 hours per week during their course time. And the fee in New Zealand, it is varying like from $16,000 to $21,000, which is again a very comfortable. And uh, if we just calculate on the basis of other countries, New Zealand proves itself to be cheaper. All the students, after completion of their studies, they are allowed to apply for a one year job search visa. You can have the job search visa, you can find a job for yourself and then finally you can put up papers for the PR also. While applying for an admission to New Zealand, please make sure there are four different points which are very important and everything depends on to it. Uh, the, the first point is uh, your percentage, academic percentage and make sure that the students who are applying, their percentage should be more than 50%. Now, second important point is the ILTS score. The ILTS score which is minimum required in New Zealand is 5.5 band. Third important point is that education gap. Education gap means suppose if you are applying after 12th then the day you did your 12th right and the day you are applying the passage time between this is actually called gap right. So you need to provide an adequate proof to this but exactly you are doing into it. What are you being involved in any kind, kind of short course? you're involved in any kind of coachings or you you had a job sometime so uh, you know you have to provide all these relevant documents to specify what you're exactly doing into this time right now uh, the fourth major point is the course the course selection is a very important part now if you select a wrong course which is not matching to your previous qualification there might happen a rejection in your application so please please confirm what course you're applying for it should be relevant to your previous studies being as an international student, you need to demonstrate that you have a possession of funds required, right? Now, the funds are basically your tuition fee plus living expenses. Now, tuition fee is subject to the institution and the course selection and living uh, funds are basically $15,000, right? Now, this $15,000 and the tuition fee is the total fund amount that you have to demonstrate. This money can be demonstrated by your parents, right? It can be demonstrated by from close family member right from family friends also the documentation by which you can demonstrate these funds includes the bank statements savings bank statements fixed deposits reckoning deposits any deposits that your sponsors have made in post office GPF statements now GPF isn't a provident fund which employees they have so if in case you're taking a GPF then you have to calculate 75% of what the total GPF is and top of it, you can even apply for an education loan. The sum up of all these things should be equivalent to the living funds or the funds which is required for you. In New Zealand, the funds which are to be demonstrated, they are to be a bit older. Older in the sense that makes sense that it, they belong to you. Now, 
there happen to be a number of applicants where they say that they don't they have this fund but not six month old three month old or five month old in that case new zealand government have made a new policy and that policy is called fts now fts stands for funds transfer scheme in this uh, your account is open in ANZ, means Australian New Zealand Bank, before putting up your visa application. And once your visa application is approved, then you have to put $15,000 in that account. Now, this amount is given to you back only, but in a variable month, 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 and month. Right? It's your money given to you only. Right? Now, this is only made for the students who have money, but they don't have an older money along with them. Now, let us talk about how the whole process is going to happen from the day one till the tail of it. The whole process starts with your offer letter. Now, you apply to that institution with an adequate documents requirement. You get an offer letter. Once you have an offer letter in place, then you have to apply for your medical. Now, there's a list of medical which is available, the doctor's list, which are prescribed by the New Zealand government. Then you can even ch check out the nearby doctor of yours. And then you have to get a PCC done. But basically, PCC is a police clearance certificate which is required for all the students who are going to New Zealand for a course which is higher than 24 months. So it is preferred, it is advisable that you please go from PCC. Now PCC is, you can you can get this PCC from uh, S SSP office or you can get it from the passport office. But it is recommended that you take this PCC from SSP's office. It's a very simple process. You go to them and you can find the ways out of Then you complete the rest of the pending documents for the visa which includes your financials, which includes your academic copies, and then you put up your visa application for the lodgement. Now, once your visa application is lodged, it takes normally like two weeks, and then you get an interview call from the embassy. The interview call is basically to specify how genuine you are as a student. The visa officer, it's a simple interview. Only thing is, the visa officer wish to you know, confirm this thing about your research you have done, what interest, and basically they wish to specify that you are a genuine entry student or not right so you have to be prepared very well for this when your interview is done after that it takes like two weeks from the embassy side to send you the approval now you get an email from the visa officer stating that the visa is approved now when your visa is approved you're you're told to pay your tuition fee to the college account and if you have applied under fts you are being told to even pay your fund transfer of $15,000 to your ANZ account. After that, you get your passport with the visa, right? You buy a ticket and you fly down to New Zealand. Now, you'll be thinking how you'll be benefited from Globis. Now, let me just brief you about Globis. Globis is a leading overseas education consultation company in India. And uh, this online services we're providing since long now. And the number of students who have been benefited out of it and the services that you get from us is totally free of cost actually free of cost you don't have to pay for these services now the services includes the initial process which is counseling in this counseling we provide you which course you should go for right along with this even it's a discussion between you and us so which appropriate it's going to be we'll be telling it to you then secondly is requested documents for admission third is documents which are required for the visa filing and the fourth is you know the most important is a visa interview now we give tips to the students how to crack down this interview right and even we have a fantastic setup of people who you know go ahead with you for the mock interviews and in normally like number of interviews we go with the student so that you know the hamper thing goes out from the mind of the student and uh, finally when they approach uh, when the interview comes from the messy they're comfortable giving that the interview of that if you wish to have an air ticket done, we get you the air tickets, we get you the forex and the major thing is pre-departure session. Now the pre-departure session is very important, right? So these are the services that we wish to we wish to render to each and every student who wish to enroll with us online. Now you must be wondering, you know, how everything going to be happening. It's very simple. See, we're living in an e-world, right? And this e-world have made everybody's life so squeezed and small that you don't have to worry about a lot, a lot of things. Right. You send us documents on email. We reply you in email. If in case we have to talk, their phones available, or else if you wish to talk to us face to face, we have our Skypes available. Right. So th this is the this is the way the whole system it works, and it is working efficiently. Now you don't have to walk into the places. You have to just log in. Right. Now earlier what used to happen is you get out of your home, you go to different 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 places, you search down for the good people. You talk to them, you inquire from them, and finally you're not satisfied. Or if in case you get satisfied, then again you go, again you go. Now, you don't have to go anywhere, right? 
you have to just send us an email and we'll get you each and everything done at your PC only, right? And uh, I wish, to, uh, wish you luck all and uh, thank you for listening to me for this session. Thank you very much.